JavaScript API enables you to create focused editing applications, and I'd like to show you in my following demos. For my first demo, I have a simple application on my phone to report bike theft incidents using the layer that Jeremy just enabled for editing. It's using the feature form, a widget that will render input fields based on the attributes of a feature. It also allows me to configure fields to present them as questions to guide my user to fill it out. I'll start off by providing a location for the incident and then move on to the first group of questions that I have to answer. For was bike locked when stolen, notice that when I answer yes, a related question is displayed underneath it. What was it locked to? I'll update this value and submit my incident. Now I'd like to show you the code to configure the group that we just filled out. In order to create um, this group, configure it, I create a, a, a group, provide a label and description, and also specify the fields that will be contained in this group. Coming soon, you'll also be able to provide an arcade expression that determines whenever this field or group becomes visible in the form. Field grouping and visibility is a powerful feature that will help you keep your form streamlined and simple. Now I'd like to move on to a new widget that's coming out in the upcoming release of the JavaScript API. The editor widget is an out-of-the-box solution to help you get started editing quickly. In this next demo, what I have is an application showing hiking trails in El Paso. It allows me to create trails, points of interest, and also report issues. Let's start by creating a trail. Notice that when I start to add a feature, a list of available feature templates becomes available. Since I already know what I'm looking for, I can go ahead and filter for the templates that I'm interested in. Let's, se let's select a medium difficulty trail and add it to my map. Once I'm done, I can name the trail and submit it. Later on, say I go on this trail and I notice that part of the path is no longer accessible. Using the same workflow, I can update it to report an issue. Looking for the issues templates, I can select the inaccessible one and add it to my map. I'll just add a brief description and submit it. In the future, if it ever becomes clear, I can come back to my application, select the issue, either choose to mark it as resolved or just delete it entirely. Enabling editing in my application was pretty straightforward. All I had to do was write a single line of code. We believe over the, sorry, over the past year, we've made efforts to bring, editing, to bring widgets to support editing use cases. We believe that with the feature form and editor, bringing editing to your applications is much more simpler than it was before.